Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people, and Halloween is only two months away. And we are doing a lot of scary plushes, scary figures, all to kick off this month with a real scare. <laughs> but we are going to look at our plushes first in this toy haul. First, we got my first ever Yoshi plush, which I love this thing. I am definitely keeping this. What I should probably get for comparison is my other Mario plush. Turn that next to. I can get it. And here we go, we got Mario and Yoshi. It's me, Mario, Yoshi. The best friends reunited. Friends that are united, yep. I have never seen them apart, except for in the video games when Mario was his brother, Luigi. But yeah, I don't have a plush of him yet, but if I do, you'll be sure to know. But I love having some Mario and Yoshi in the house. These are definitely going on my Mario shelf as permanent collector's things, plushes. We do got some WWE in the house. I have never reviewed WWE, and if any of you know any more about WWE that I don't know about, first on the list, we got the WE championship belt i got this for free and someone was throwing this away along with that wrecking ambulance and one figure here in white oak pennsylvania so lucky me i always get the good stuff when i get free stuff so we're going to look at the ambulance itself it rolls very well it is missing a few parts Otherwise, it's mostly complete, as you can see. It's missing a part right here. I don't have it. If I ever find a more complete one, I will definitely see if it has the piece for this and then swap it out for right here. But right now, it's incomplete. Doors open up to so our figures can drive the ambulance. I got one I do know is John Cena. And this guy... I don't know who he is. My knowledge of wrestlers don't go very far, except from Scooby-Doo. So, John, Thena, John Cena was in the Bumblebee movie, which is why I picked him up. And he was also in the Scooby-Doo movie, where he, in WWE, Scooby-Doo and WWE, and I just loved his appearance in that movie. Other than that, I don't know a lot about good old John Cena. But I love having a figure of him. Eventually, I am going to take this figure and customize him into the Bumblebee movie, Military John Cena. But now we're going to take a look at both our wrestlers, and they look both pretty fierce. If you guys know this one's name and can tell me, I would sure appreciate it. Because I am not familiar with all WE wrestlers, except for... My boy, John Cena. But for now, we're going to put him in the uh, driver's seat. Back in the driver's seat. And John Cena's got some good articulation on him. So glad I have this guy. And he's ready to rumble. And he does have some hands that can hold stuff. So I could totally have this guy holding a gun. Like in Bumblebee movie. And he'll look awesome with a shirt and Bumblebee movie clothing for his military clothing for Sector 7. He'll look cool. Other than that, that's all I have to say for these figures. So I don't lose John Cena. He's going back in the ambulance with the unknown wrestler. And he will be put on the shelf for sure with the ambulance. Why not? 
I collect a lot of big vehicles, especially cool looking ones. So another one to my epic military vehicle collection. Next on the list, we got some random cars toys. And as you know, I do pick these up. I like them because they roll very well. And they look cool. These ones are too big to fit in my Hot Wheels collector's case, which I am collecting a lot of cool Hot Wheels cars because I like picking those up. And these are just gnarly cool. This one's gnarly cool. And Mater, I like him because of his voice actor and his weird face and the eyes he's got. Toe Mater, average intelligence. And I couldn't help that. Okay. We're going to bring out something else I've been meaning to show off too. This is from my Kennywood trip. I have an alien collector's cup. It doesn't move, but you can make it move on the table. The aliens are here from outer space. The aliens are here. Time to get out of this place. The aliens are here. And I got that song from Scooby-Doo and the Alien Invaders. And this plush eyes light up. Oh man, that is so cool. I am definitely keeping this in my Halloween collection of plushies all year round. He is just so cool. If you're wondering where you can get this guy right now, you can get him at Kennywood. Pick him up. He is a lot of fun. That's why he's going in the Halloween collection. Daddy, don't you dare bother that. My dog. Next on the list, we got this jack-o'-lantern bear. He's got some things in him that make noise, and that's pretty fun. Other than that, he's just a cute little bear in a jack-o'-lantern costume. And leave that alone too, buddy. All right. Next on the list, we got some 2012 Ninja Turtles Mutants. We got Dog Pound and Fish Face. My first Ninja Turtles bad guy mutants. And these guys are going in my TMNT collection. Stay tuned for next... Stay tuned for my next toy haul because I'm going to be having some more Transformers to show off. Three more. And the 2023 Ninja Turtles to show off here on my channel. For the Mutant Mayhem movie. Which I do want to see that. Articulation with Dog Pound. He can get a kick. Be like, puh, puh, kick ya. His arms can move outwards like that. Don't have any ball joints here. But he can be like, I'll get you, turtles, if it's the last thing I do. Rah. So, yeah, some articulation on Dog Pound. I love it. He looks just like he did in the... 2012 show and fish face he's got some articulation not much he's like i'm gonna uppercut punch you in the face poo 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 with the fist pew pew with the fist like punch 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 other arm he can go punch punch kick kick with my robotic leg kick kick same with the other leg. Kick, kick. No backwards articulation unless you move the tail. And he looks like he's running. Uh, you'll never get me, turtles. Not if it's the last thing I do. You haven't heard the last of Fish Face. Because I'll be back with a vengeance. And yeah, I love Ninja Turtles that much that I pick up every Ninja Turtles ever. But this is something I am going to be opening here on the channel. It's a Mickey D's toy from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And I haven't opened this yet. But given I, I don't open a lot of these things, but this thing is so fun, we are going to open it right now. Got Running Knuckles. 
Here we got the stand right here. And it rolls pretty well. Now let's open this figure and take a look at it. If I can get it to open. They have to use a lot of plastic for these things in general. There we got knuckles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where do these go? Okay. We got some to go on his shoes. Okay. If this piece right here goes right on his feet, so we're going to get these on his feet if we can. I have never done this to, to a toy before. Let's see. Get it to work. Ha ha ha. And there we got Knuckles with his shoe. One shoe done. Oh man, that is cool. Second first, just like the first. Get it on his foot. I'm having a lot of fun sticker in this than I thought I would. I don't usually collect these, but I guess there's a first time for everything, isn't there? Sticker it on his foot. If I can get it to work. Fold it down like so. And there we got him ready to run. Now, doesn't say where these stickers go. But I'm sure I can put them somewhere on this thing. I hate the way stickers. As you know, I hate the way stickers. So we'll put one there. It'll still look pretty sick with him running from it, running on it. I just hope I'm doing it right. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way stickers when it comes to things with stickers. And now we're going to attach our knuckles. Like so, and boom, he is ready to start running. Now let's see what this thing can do. Man, this thing is awesome with the stickers. This is my new favorite Sonic the Hedgehog toy. Fast food toy. And I love this thing. Definitely going to be a part of the collection, for sure. Because who doesn't like the brooding knuckles? And as you know, I watched a lot of Sonic X when I was a kid, so... Sonic and Sonic the Hedgehog toys are my personal favorite. I think my tripod stand's starting to come loose, so I'm going to have to fix it. Huh. I'll do the side video tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. I'll have to see tomorrow. I'll get everything done tonight and do it tonight. That's my dog snoring, so sorry if he's snoring in the video. There we go. Good as new. Well, we are going to show off what we're going to review next week, next to Titan's Return Hot Rod. It's Megatron, and this is a detailed action figure. Doesn't have any knee articulation. Waste. So this will be reviewed next month and showing off every Megatron ever I own. If you like this video, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I enjoy doing these videos for you each and every day. It is a lot of fun, and I love to have a lot of fun here on my channel. And that's why I keep doing it every year. And I hope you're getting a thrill out of my review table being done here on the channel for two videos. This review table is a permanent part of this collection and it's much bigger for holding bigger class figures. And I just love that. That's why we're gonna be using it all year round. But now we're gonna end this video and this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.